Hi, and welcome to Interactive Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive image. This quiz allows you to turn your image into an interactive map. Tag images with instant access to additional information, close-ups of images, web links, and buttons. First of all, sign into your profile on interactive.me to start. To create an interactive image, click the Template Gallery button. Select Interactive Image. Choose the template you like from the list by clicking the Edit button. The Preview button will allow you to preview the template. We're gonna choose this one. First of all, let's create a title for our interactive image. I want to create a quiz about identifying trees by leaf shapes, for example. That's why I select the old title and write How to identify trees by leaf shape. And my description is gonna be The shape of a leaf can give you an information about a tree. You can also change the style of your text. To do this, select your text and apply the settings you want in this window. I'll make my text a bit bigger. OK. Now we can start to set our quiz. To do this, click anywhere in the workspace. You will see the interactive image properties block on the right side of your screen. Let's change the background image first. To do this, click Change button. There are two ways to upload a new image, directly from your computer or using the Unsplash library. My library section is images you previously used in other projects. They can be uploaded from Unsplash or from your computer. Unsplash library is direct access to the Unsplash stock photo service. Upload media button allows you to add an image from your computer. I prepared pictures for my project in advance, so I'm gonna use this option. I click Upload media, select the picture and click Open. After the file upload, I click Place image. Perfect! Now we can see our picture as a background. Now let's figure out the number of tags. We have just three different types of leaves in our picture, so let's reduce this to tree. Then select the tag size. I'm going to reduce this to 35. OK. It's time to change tag image. If you don't have a tag image, and you don't like the standard one, you can delete it and choose the color you like. In this case, tag will be colored. I prepared my tag image in advance, so let's upload it. Click Upload, Upload Media, Place Image. And now we can see a new tag in our project. Perfect. Place tags on the image. I'll put all of them to different types of leaves. By using the right menu, you can add information about each tag. Let's click on the first tag and fill in the title and description fields. That's what user will see when they click on your tag. Our tag is on Maple Leaf. So let's name our tag as Maple Leaf. We also gotta add a description about this tree. The Maple Leaf belongs to the Maple Tree. Also is the most recognized national symbol of Canada. Good. You can also add a picture to your answer if you want. To do this, click Change. I'm going to use Unsplash library this time. Write 
maple leaf into the search field. This one fits pretty well. I check this box and click place image. Note that you can add a button that will appear on the screen in the end of the game and connect this with any link you want. Our button text will be no more. I'm gonna connect this button with Wikipedia article about maple leaf. Let's repeat this with two more tags. Next leaf belongs to the birch tree. We name it as birch. And add a short description. I'm gonna add image again by using change button. Click on splash library, search for birch leaf, place image. I will also change the bottom text to no more and provide a new link. Perfect. Last tag title will be Ash. Add a short explanation, picture, and a link. Click the preview and evaluate the current state of your project. Try your quiz and don't forget to rate how it looks on different devices. To do this, switch between the phone and personal computer icons. If you notice an error or decided to fix anything, return to the editor by selecting this menu item. Don't forget to select a title for your project. This will make it easier to find it. Let's name our project as How to Identify Trees. After that, you can safely click the Publish button. Your project is ready. You can share with your friends by sending a link or choosing any other convenient way. Let's view our project. As you can see, our project works perfect. Keep in mind that you can always return to editing your template again by clicking the Edit button in my Project tab. You can also check statistics by clicking this button. Good luck 